You rectify birth times of celebrities because that info is often just plain unavailable to you. The more so if you perceive yourself as being on the opposite side of an issue, political view, or worldview with the person you're trying to rectify. All those problems come up when I'm trying to deduce the birth time of Marjorie Taylor Greene. The birth information on Ms. Greene shows May 27, 1974, in Milledgeville, Georgia. The astrological world has not, to the best of my knowledge, uncovered a birth time. Rectifying a birth time is never easy, even if you're given an approximate time, such as sunrise for Abraham Lincoln. If you're given no time, it's exponentially harder. When you rectify the birth time using Greek, medieval, Western astrology, you are trying to match the person into the world in which they're placed. When you rectify using the four pillars, you're trying to match the person to their observable behavior. Yes, there's overlap, but the basic emphasis is different. If you're rectifying the life of a self-made billionaire business person, and there's no emphasis at all anywhere on the second or eleventh house, you've placed that person into the world wrong. If you're rectifying the life of a highly talkative person and the resulting four pillars shows no fire at all, you haven't matched their behavior. Fortunately, we have a basis to begin. For any given year, month, and day of birth, you will have only two possible combinations of day pillar. The classical Chinese method assumes that you have, for one day, only one possible day pillar. My own research led me down the path that astrologers in Beijing couldn't have possibly meant to use Greenwich, England as the reference for when the day begins and ends. Most Four Pillar scholars agree, including a teacher of mine and another respected colleague, that what time you're born depends upon local space. But what energetic day, and that is exactly what a day pillar is, you're born will shift, as far as I'm concerned, if you use Paris, or Cairo, or Baghdad, or Mohenjo-Daro, or Luoyang, or Beijing, to determine what zero degrees of longitude is going to be. The issue of an energy day, as opposed to an energy time, seems to be unique to me. Assuming Beijing is the proper longitude reference, virtually every day in the United States will have two day pillars, one matching the classical formula, the other one pillar later. And when in the civil day the day pillar shifts over depends on the longitude of your birth. The further east in the United States, the earlier the changeover. I know it sounds weird to have any kind of day shift from one to the other in the middle of the normal civil day instead of at midnight. Greenwich, England provides a reference anchor point for dates and times. Since the Julian Day number is anchored to Greenwich, it certainly makes calculating planet positions possible. But it is not an astrological anchor point. For the four pillars, Beijing is one. At least it gives better results for a great number of births than our regular Greenwich-based calendar. In my own videos, without shifting the day pillar according to Beijing, actor James Kahn shows no signs of his legendary temper. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas would have much less reason to be so vehemently right-wing. If you use the four pillars to help rectify a birth chart, and rectifying according to a very detailed system of defining behavior is a great boon, we need to nail down the civil day versus the day pillar issue. At least I've addressed a problem that no one else seems to think even exists. The classical calculations show Ms. Green with the following three of four pillars. A first look at Ms. Green's pillars show a person at a disadvantage with the general public. You can overcome this difficulty in politics if the Greek Western chart supports you enough, and or the hour pillar does too. If Ms. Green was born after 2.16 p.m. daylight time, her daymaster would be yin earth and not yang, then the disadvantage with the public would be considerably lessened. So we have to ask, is Marjorie Taylor Green a yang earth or a yin earth? 
Well, that's easy enough to answer. Does she go after people or does she expect people to come to her? Using an accurate and complimentary moniker, I'd say she's a go-getter. She doesn't wait on anyone. She takes action first. Because of that, I think she was born before 2.16 p.m. That narrows down the possible four pillars and the possible four pillars charts. As Ms. Green is a person of eminence, we have four considerations. Would a person with this chart want to be eminent? Is the chart strong enough to support eminence? Do the pillars make her specifically athletic? Marjorie Taylor Greene is well known for being a fitness enthusiast. There exists YouTube video footage showing her working out with CrossFit. Lastly, does the chart support her being talkative? Marjorie Taylor Greene is talkative. And while I'm no fan of hers, if a person is born talkative, they have every right to talk. I condemn the view that women should be silent because they lack the appropriate gonads dangling between their legs. I would eliminate both of the charts with the hour pillar topped and bottomed with wood. Yangwood tiger and yinwood rabbit. Why? Unless the Western Greek chart overrides it, neither of those four pillars charts belongs to someone who wants to be eminent. The hour pillar is the personality you use when you assert authority. If your hour leaves you at an energetic disadvantage, you don't like being the authority. You are uncomfortable leading people. All of my proposed charts leaves Ms. Green's Daymaster at a disadvantage with the general public. Tiger Hour or Rabbit Hour would compound that disadvantage. There are three ways to overcome this. One, the Day Pillar dominates the Hour Pillar. Two, the Hour Pillar dominates the Year Pillar. Three, the Hour Pillar feeds the Day Pillar. If we assume that Ms. Green was born before 2.16 p.m., option two won't work because she was born too early for the hour to supply metal to dominate the wood of the year. Option number one gives the subject the leverage to lead, but not so much the desire to lead. I regard option three as the most likely. If your authority headspace feeds you beneficial energy and makes you stronger, you want to be the leader. You want to be the boss. I think one needs to have that powerful an incentive to overcome being otherwise at a disadvantage with essentially all of your constituents. Dragon hour, snake hour, and horse hour remain as the candidates. For daylight savings time instead of standard time, dragon hour shifts from the normal 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. slot to 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. In the interests of further accuracy, we have to add three minutes to those times to further shift clock time to sundial time, what is scientifically called local apparent time. That changes Dragon Hour on May 27, 1974 to 8.03 a.m. to 10.03 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Dragon Hour would give her some good leverage to commune with the public, but Dragon being the stomach meridian, would mean she has an appetite. She would have troubles wanting to overeat. And while yang fire on top of that pillar certainly would benefit her, it also doesn't strongly promote being athletic. So the hour pillar, assuming she's a yang earth and not yin, means that the other athletic or enthusiastic pillar would be yin fire snake. Yin Fire Snake is the strongest possible elemental support of a Yang Earth Day Master. Why is this pertinent? The Hour Pillar is where you assert your authority. The more the Hour Pillar nourishes you, the more authority you like to take on. This is consistent with someone running for public office, someone who wants to be either an authority figure or a leader. As much as the Yang Wood stem promotes athleticism, so too does the Yin Fire stem. If the Hour Pillar is topped by Yin Fire, the dual yang wood in the year for a yang earth day master, which is a primary disadvantage, becomes a massive secondary advantage. Those two would then feed the fire of the hour, which then feed the yang earth day master. With a birth time between 10.03 a.m. and 12.03 p. 
p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a whole bunch of Ms. Green's behavior falls into place. With that given birth time, the resulting four pillars chart is as elementally strong as possible for that day. That's consistent with someone who thrives holding public office. We still have the problem that, emotionally, Tiger and Snake do not get along. Tiger wants to be open-minded and humble. Snake wants to plan ahead and desires respect. That combination of emotions merges badly. That combination would promote someone who is disagreeable. Is it fair to say that Ms. Green is at all disagreeable? While not exactly giving a yes or no answer, I will say the question harkens back to an earlier video of mine which asks if Donald Trump is a narcissist. Nobody comes out of the womb and decides to be disagreeable. People who are seen as disagreeable don't think they are disagreeable. It's natural for anyone, if they find themselves getting aggravated with the world around them, to assume that the world wants to disrespect them. It's the world's fault, not anything they did wrong. If I have the hour pillar correct, Marjorie Taylor Greene has had this view of the world all of her life, whether she asked for it or not. The cross-conflict between Ms. Green's Tiger Year and Snake Hour isn't the only difficulty she has. When you have animal personalities that don't naturally connect, you are forced to push the square pegs of your soul into the round holes of your soul. You can connect those pieces together. In fact, you have to. But other folks witnessing the connections you make either shake their heads behind your back or laugh at you. Marjorie Taylor Greene's animals are tiger, horse, dragon, and snake, if I'm correct. Both horse and dragon disconnect from snake. The personality she uses to assert authority naturally disconnects from half of her soul. If your day animal is disconnected from your hour animal, the part of you that functions as the marriage partner disconnects from the part of you that you ultimately aspire to. Sadly, this can explain why, as of this writing, Taylor Greene's husband, Perry, filed for divorce, citing the marriage is irretrievably broken. Interjecting a personal note, because I have to, being born with disconnected animals in your four pillars is not a sin. I, myself, have as much disconnection in my four pillars as Ms. Green does. If I didn't have as much sympathy for her situation as I do criticism, I should blast myself for being a hypocrite, admitting I'm voicing more criticism right now than sympathy here. Returning to my first point, rectifying birth charts is hard. Despite arguing, I think persuasively, for a birth time for Marjorie Taylor Greene between 10.03 a.m. and 12.03 p.m., it's brutally likely I got this all wrong. Our current social media culture and political culture punish you harshly for getting it wrong in public. I think it's a better way to live, to try to keep finding the right answers, rather than living your life trying to avoid all the wrong ones.